could sing softly. Have thine own way. you to be. Amen. Stand, let us go to our congregational prayer. I want to put the service before the Lord. What you say? We are in the Lord's house and we want to put the service before the Lord. We want the Lord to take control. We want the Lord to bless us. And the topic today is bless. Blessed is the bless, a blessed man or the blessed man. The blessed man. And when we talk about a blessed man, we talk about a happy man. What you say? A man that is happy. He's happy in the Lord. So at this time, let us all go into a time of worship, a prayer. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, by your spirit, Lord, we come to you. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory today. Because you are God and beside you, Lord, there is none other. Lord, we are blessed because of you. And Father, we say we thank you. We give you thanks, Lord, for another opportunity to come into your house, to worship you and to acknowledge you and to praise you, to lift up your name, Lord. For indeed, dear Lord, without you, we can do nothing. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you, Lord, for all that I hear today. We pray, Lord, for all those that are on the way. We honor you today, Lord, oh God. Some of us today, Lord, are not feeling well in our bodies. But Lord, we acknowledge you as the great physician. You are the great physician. You are our healer, Lord. You are the only one who can heal our bodies. And so, Lord, we look, we're looking to you today to do such. Lord, we pray for every item on this outline today. We pray, dear Lord, that you will anoint it with your Holy Spirit. We pray, dear God, for your man servant who will declare your word, that your word will go forth with power. Lord, we present the musicians before you as they play skillfully to you, Lord. Oh God, we pray for the praise team. We pray for all our ministers. We pray, dear Lord, for the laity. All that have come, dear Lord, into your house. This is your house, Lord. Lord, take charge. Bless us only you know how. We honor you, dear God. We bless your name today. Oh Father, have your way, have your way, Lord. Have your way. that the Lord heard our prayer. Amen. He's a prayer answering God. He's the only one who can answer prayers. And we give him praise today. Hallelujah. My respect to our senior pastor, our beloved Bishop Cheval Gray, 
and his lovely wife, Sister Veronica, my wife, Judy, the ministers, and the ministry of this local church, and to you, God's wonderful people. I'm so happy to see you today. What a thrill that I get when I come together, or when I get together with God's wonderful people. I don't care what you say, the people of God are the most wonderful people in the world. Yes, we may have our problems, may have our problems. Huh? Yes, sir. but they are still the most wonderful people in the entire world. So nice to see you, Mother Ferguson. Always a pleasure to see you. Let's give a round of applause. So nice to see all of our seniors in the house. Mother Spence, to Mother Gator, Mother Lynn. Uh, so nice to see you. I saw, I see Mother, Mother Nelson. I call her our African Queen. <laughs> our African Queen. God bless you, Mother Nelson. Amen. Nice to see you all. Amen. Amen. Coming now with our scripture reading taken from St. Matthew's chapter 5 verses 1 through 16 is our beloved lay minister Sister Lydia Hasten. Good morning church let us all stand for the reading of God's holy word. The reading is taken from Matthew chapter 5, reading from verse 1 to verse 16. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt had lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under the feet of man. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do man light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. The word of the Lord is already blessed. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord for the reading of his word. What you say? Amen. And uh, we all know that this, this was the Sermon on the Mount. The Sermon on the Mount. And you know, we need to get back to those Sunday school lessons so our, our children could learn about the Sermon on the Mount. The blessed man is our theme today. Who feels blessed today? I'm blessed. Huh? Huh? You know, we used to sing that song, I'm blessed. Yeah. Huh? 
Every time I what? Turn around. I turn around. I'm blessed. Who wants another song? Can we sing that? So the Barbara, I think you're the only voice I heard. You better come and lead this. Come and lead the song. Come and lead the song. Huh? Every time I what? I turn around. How well do you know him, Mother, Mother Gray? I can bring the mic to you. Pastor Gray? Every time I turn around, the Lord is blessing me. Every time I turn around, we can learn that today. He's blessing me. Every yeah. time I turn around, He's blessing me. time I raise my hand, He's blessing me. Every time I raise my hand, He's blessing me. Every time I turn around, He's blessing me. Every time I turn around, He blesses me. Every time I turn around, He blesses me. Every time I turn around. Every time I sing, 
Every time I clap my hands, He's blessing me. Come on and worship Him. Every time I clap my hands, He's blessing me. Every time I clap my hands, He's blessing me. Praise God, He's blessing me. Every time I sing, every time I sing, Jesus blesses me. Every time I sing, He blesses me. Every time I sing, Jesus blesses me. Praise God, He's blessing me. Every time I shout for joy, you want to sing that too? Go He's on. blessing me. Every time I shout for joy, He's blessing me. Every time I shout for joy, He's blessing me. cannot walk. Every time I Some people cannot talk. Some people cannot sing. But every time you walk, you talk, you sing, he's blessing us. God is so wonderful. And I thank God. Do you thank him today? He's such a holy God. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Coming now to welcome you into the house of God. Your sister, Dahlia Nelson. Amen. You know, when you come to my house, I want to make you feel welcome. What you say? So she's coming to make you feel welcome in God's house. Amen. Good morning, church. This is indeed the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I take this time out to acknowledge the presence of our senior pastor in the person of no other than Bishop Gray and his lovely wife, Lady Veronica, our associate pastor, Pastor Maycock, and his wife, Sister Judy Maycock, to all the other ministers and laborers in the vineyard, a warm welcome to you all. Also to all the other visiting friends and members, those who are watching us via Facebook, we dare not take it for granted. You could have chosen to do any other thing or to be elsewhere, but you have taken the time out to worship with us here at Forward in Faith 249 Soldier Road Church. Let's put our hands together for our viewers and our persons who are in the house this morning. As I look down there, I also see our Defense Force officer. It is indeed a pleasure to have you here this morning. It's been quite a while, and we just pray the Lord will continue to bless you, to cover you as you continue to serve and protect your country. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Like I said before, I dare not take it for granted this morning. So many persons could have been otherwise minded. You could have chosen to do any other thing, but you took the time out to come and worship the Lord. 
Lord. This is liberty all, and where there is liberty, that, is, that there is freedom. So I'm going to invite you all this morning just to shake off those heavy bands, to lift up holy hands, and let us worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. May the Lord bless you all. May he keep you all as you continue to labor in his vineyard. God bless you. Amen, amen. God bless you, Sister Nelson. And we have another Sister Nelson coming before us now. And this is indeed a treat. Yes. You know, uh, I think she came among us about a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago, and so the African Queen will come and sing for us now. Yeah. Sister Gurley Nelson. Thank you. Good morning, church. I'm going to sing one of my original. And this is taken from St. Matthew chapter 15, verses 1 to 22. There is a fountain filled with blood, drawn from Emmanuel's vein, and sinners plunged beneath the flow, lose all their guilty stain. Run to the fountain and wash out your mouth. Run to the fountain and wash out your mouth. If you now run to the fountain and wash your mouth, the Lord will put your candle out. Run to the fountain and wash out your mouth. You say you now commit adultery in our fornication. Right now you are under condemnation. The words of the mother let us bring in sprout. Therefore you neither can sing nor shout. So run to the fountain and wash out your mouth. With dirty hands, you say you could never eat. Some people eat and don't even brush their teeth. What was down by your mouth is there for a while, but the words of your mouth it make you defile. Run to the fountain and wash out your mouth. I wonder if you know what Jesus really mean. When you say wash your hands, that not make you clean. What got down by your mouth come out in the drought, but the words of your mouth come straight from your hearts. Run to the fountain and wash out your mouth. Run to the fountain and wash out your mouth. Run to the fountain and wash out your mouth. If you don't run to the fountain and wash your mouth, the Lord will put your candle out. Run to the fountain and wash out your mouth. Your wife and husband, you say you would never cheat. But those words of your mouth you constantly repeat. The words of God is like full of soap. What should make you clean as what you really mean? Run to the fountain and wash out your mouth. Run to the fountain and wash out your mouth. Run to the fountain and wash out your mouth. If you don't run to the fountain and wash your mouth, the Lord will put your candle out. Run to the fountain and wash out your mouth. Thank you. Oh, yeah. African queen. She even got the move. Now, who remember the title of that song? Run where? Run to the fountain. God bless you, my 
Mother Nelson, God bless you for blessing us with that song. That's one. You know, our, our style is different. Our worship style is different, but we all praise Him and worship in the same God. What you say? Amen. Amen. Mother Nelson, when you get a little more time, you need to teach all of us that song. Run to the mountain. Amen. 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 Now this 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 part of our worship service, all believers, all believers can participate. What'd you say? Every believer. I don't see no believers sitting down. This is Holy Communion. Holy Communion. And we just sang the song uh, before Mother Nelson about the bless, the blessingness of God. And we just want to let's stand and examine ourselves as we sing. I am thine, O Lord. I am thine, O Lord. And as we sing, all ministers and lay ministers would like for you to assemble around the communion table.
11 beginning at verse 20 when he come together therefore into one place this is not to eat the Lord's supper for in eating everyone taketh before another his own supper and one is hungry and another is drunken what have we not houses to eat and to drink in? Or despise ye the church of God and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus Christ, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup. When he had sung, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye, as oft as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, Whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord, of the Lord unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Therefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. Amen. Amen. Let us all bow our heads and let us pray. Tarry one for another. Amen. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. Lord, we present all those who will come before you at this time, Lord, to partake of your table. We pray, dear Lord, that you will bless them, that you will sanctify them, Lord. Oh, God. Thank you. That we will lead away the day. That we will not be condemnation to ourselves. Take charge, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, ministers, I want you to serve yourselves first. Serve yourself, please. Okay. Okay, all those who want to partake, just take the center aisle and you want to move rather quickly. We're going to sing that song that was written by Andre Crouch when he was 15 years old. It's a, it's a, it's a song of him of the church, The Blood of Jesus. Everybody. My, my.